just thanking the Lord. I'm 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 just thanking the Lord. He got me through. 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 Everything. Everything. Look, I'm just thanking the Lord. Peace. Shalom, Elikem. Peace be upon you. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High, Elohim, Yahuwah, through His Son, Yahushua. It's Uncle K. You already know what time it is, and you already know how we coming. Before we get into the content, like the video, comment down below, share the content. And if you're not supporting the content, become a supporter right now. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Now let's get into it. We must understand that it takes time to build good things, right? It takes time to build anything in general. It takes brick by brick by brick by brick to build a building. It takes brick by brick by brick by brick to build a bridge. It takes brick by brick by brick to build a mind. And those bricks to build a mind are books. It could even be videos of edification as well too. It takes weight on weight on weight on weight to build a body. But all these things take time. And the only way that you can build things by brick by brick by brick is allowing the Most High Elohim Yahuwah through His Son Yahushua to help you and give you strength to build those things. You see, it takes time. It takes time, it takes patience. And it takes dedication. Especially when you wanna build something good. And we know all of us men, we are reprogramming our mind. So that takes brick by brick by brick by brick of wisdom to reprogram our minds so we can get this ah, magnificent, glorious edification and understanding. Because we know by now that this current society that we live in right now is a microwave society. They want things right away. They pump the chicken with with hormones because they want to get it out to the market fast, fast, fast. With this entertainment, you want content fast, 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 fast. You know, you want to throw everything in that radiation box, heat it up, 30 seconds express, boom, done. A minute and 30 seconds, you can heat up some rice and it's ready to go. You want it right now, you can't wait for it. But guess what? The man that knows that it takes time to build, he's okay with that, he's content with that because he knows that it takes time to build all good things. And I'm here to tell you, you gotta be patient with yourself. You don't wanna override yourself. You don't wanna overwhelm yourself because you're not giving your time, giving your giving yourself time to build brick by brick by brick by brick. You see, sometimes you consume yourself with so much content throughout the day that you believe you're not good enough. You believe that you're not where you're supposed to be right now. And you are where you're supposed to be right now. Because the Most High does not, does not, He does not do anything wrong. He has you placed right now, wherever you're at right now, so you can see where you're at. So that way you know where you're gonna end up. And you're gonna end up by green pastures and still waters. But you must be content with what you have right now. Because if you're not content with what you have right now where you're not humble, those things will be gone right away. Gone. 
It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter what race, what ethnicity. It doesn't matter where you're from around the world. If you do not humble yourself in front of the face, in front of the eyes of the Most High, Yahuwah, then you will lead yourself into destruction and you will get stripped of everything that he has given you. You see, everyone wants to live a holy life. But are you truly set apart? Because that's what set apart means. Set apart means holy. So if you are set apart, you know you're not a friend of this world. You know that the world don't like you. And you know that. You should know that by now. You are set apart. The Most High sets you apart and you stay in His will. You're obeying His laws, His commandments to the best of your abilities. And you're being patient and you're being content with what He has given you. If He has given you that job, you're working hard, you're having a good time, stay low, make that bread. You're riding around, you're doing DoorDash, you're doing whatever you can, get that bread. You're on YouTube making these videos, be consistent with that. You want your daily development, stay consistent with that, but build brick by brick by brick by brick and take time because all good things take time to build. You see the most high is building a bridge. So all his chosen elect can see the bridge and make a way because a man without a vision, he perishes. And you must have this vision that it's not gonna happen overnight. Because the Most High is not a Most High Elohim that's gonna make things happen for you overnight. He did not. He did not put David, David, on the throne overnight. It took time. It took time. It took a little over thirty years of him running in the wilderness from being murdered, being chased by soldiers, having to sleep in caves. It didn't happen overnight. But when he got delivered and he stayed consistent with him, and he was writing those Psalms. He got on that throne and he was king of Israel for 40 years. Ain't that a beautiful thing? Ain't that some encouragement that you gotta build brick by brick by brick by brick with everything that you do? content creators yeah you gotta run out and get that bread yeah we gotta get our passports and start traveling the world yeah you gotta get that bag or else she ain't gonna love you yeah well guess what those things take time and the most high ain't rushing you but the most high is letting you know hey when you get it done, you're going to get it done. You're going to get it done. You're going to do it well. The old gentleman, you know, holding on for their life, fighting. Fighting y'all, quote unquote, urges. You know what I'm saying? Fighting, fighting, fighting. Dealing with temptation left and right, but you better know the Most High Yah will make a way for you to endure them temptations. You just need to meditate on His goodness, meditate on His promises, meditate on the will that He has for your life, and watch how all them things just go ease out the way because you have been building brick by brick by brick by brick. Your faith have been increasing brick by brick by brick. Your courage have been increasing brick by brick by brick by brick. Your mental strength have been increasing because you've been building it by brick by brick by brick by brick. It ain't nobody gonna make you fold unless you make yourself fold because the Most High will give you over to a reprobate mind. He will give you over to your heart's desires. So if you desire that evil, if you desire that wickedness, if you desire that masturbation, if you desire that pornography, if you desire that harlot down the street, go ahead. But remember what the Most High has promised you. Remember what his son Yahushua has done for you. You better remember that. You 
better. You better remember that and not harden your heart. Real talk. Gentlemen, listen. Nothing is sweet. You see, me and you, we're men. And there ain't no sugar in our tank. We only got fire from the Ruach. Fire from the Ruach. Fire from the Ruach Hakadesh, man. That's what we have inside of us. Ain't no sugar. Ain't no sweet. Ain't no, ah, uh, I'm gonna give up right now. Ain't no, ah, uh, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Ain't no, ah, uh, I'm gonna give up and then I'm gonna get back on it tomorrow. Don't be weak out here, man. Don't let these people out here make you depressed. Don't let these people out here take your encouragement away from you. Don't make these people out here make you feel doubtful. Don't make these spirits that's inhabiting all these people in this world bring you down. Because they could break you down. You better stay wise as a serpent, you're homeless as a dove, man. But you better look strong. You better look built. But you better spread love as well, too. But make sure that you have discernment. Because not everybody in this world want to see you build brick by brick by brick by brick. Even if you ha only have $1 in your account. Only if you have $2 in your account. Only if you have $3 in your account. Only $4 in your account. Only $5 in your account. You got to stay down. You got to stay humble. Because the Most High exalts those that don't have a lot. But he's going to make sure that you have enough in your pocket for some cold water, for some food, for some clothing, for some security. You just got to build brick by brick by brick by brick. And you got to let him continue to build you up. You got to continue to give him all that praise. You got to continue to give him all that glory. Do not give yourself any glory because then you're going to run out the field and you're going to be claiming that you're just horny and you can't control yourself. I had to throw a little bit of comedy in there because I know a lot of y'all fellas be a little tensed up. But you already know Uncle K is here to make you cheer up. Real talk. On that note, gentlemen, Shalom Alekim. Peace be upon you. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High Elohim, Yahuwah, through His Son, Yahusha. It is Uncle K. Shalom Alakim. Peace be upon you. You already know what time it is, and you already know how we coming. Make sure you like the video, share the content, comment down below. And if you're not already supporting the content, become a supporter right now. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. It's been a great one. Shalom. Peace.